where we are right now. We're at American Legion Post number one. It is the longest continuously operating American Legion Post in America. It's located just off of Peoria on 8th Street. And coming up in 90 minutes, it is going to be host to a town hall meeting about veterans' issues. We can tell you that right now there are about 100,000 veterans living here in our Tulsa area. And for 18 months, the two news investigators have been talking to hundreds of veterans, working with them to get the benefits and medical care that they deserve. And just in the past year and a half, 2 News has helped veterans and their families get close to $200,000 in benefits. Some we helped had spent close to a decade waiting for the VA to process the claim. And that is the problem. Claims that are not being processed and care that has been delayed. 2 News investigator Marla Carr has been looking into the reforms that have been made. And she's here with more on, on what this means for our local veterans and what they can expect. Yeah, of course, that new reform law just went into effect October 1st. And we've been looking into the Muskogee VA and the Tulsa Clinic. Both are tied together. But before that law even went into effect, they made some sweeping changes. Earlier this year, VAs across the country came under fire for long wait times and delays in care. In June, the two news investigators told you about a 60-page audit that examined the delays. In Muskogee, more than 500 patients waited 30 days or more to be seen by a doctor, and 200 new patients waited at least 90 days. Since the audit came out, those numbers have dropped significantly. Now wait times are down to an average of just two days for primary care. Possibly helping that, expanded hospital and clinic hours on Thursdays and Saturdays. They're very popular for our veterans who don't want to have to take off work to come to a, a, an appointment. Plus, in July, the VA in Muskogee created a call center so they can help patients quicker. Our goal is to answer the phones in under 30 seconds. So we're getting very close. I think we're at 40 seconds in primary care and just a few seconds in pharmacies. That's just the beginning. The Muskogee Hospital expects to see more changes with the new health care law that just went into effect last week. But it is still waiting to hear from Washington on exactly what those changes will be. Right now we don't have any guidance on how we're going to implement uh, the new uh, legislation that just passed. The VA of Muskogee says it expects to know a whole lot more about what those changes will be coming up in November. And of course, we'll bring you those when we have more information. Now, coming up on 2 News at 6, we're going to tell you about another change they've made, an effort to help 2,000 veterans. That's a new clinic. All right, Marla, thanks. And of course, that VA reform bill that went into effect is designed to cut down on the delays in the system so that veterans can get care and get it quicker. Here's some of the highlights. Hiring more staff so that veterans can see medical personnel more quickly. The ability for veterans to use their own family doctor if they live more than 40 miles from a VA facility and more oversight over the VA in general by federal lawmakers and to make sure that systems are uh, improvements are made to that system. All right, joining us now, Mitch Henderson, the adjutant for American Legion Post number one. And, and Mitch, thanks so much for being with us. And thank you so much for bringing this idea of a town hall uh, meeting to Channel 2 so that we could help you guys out with that. Tell us a little bit about how that happened. Well, with K, uh, KJRH approached us about a call to action, we thought what better way than serve our veterans than have an open forum with the, uh, where the veterans can speak and also be able to have individual help from representatives from the VA uh, here on site to help them tonight. And, and some people may not know this, but uh, your organization, the American Legion nationwide, played a major role in pushing for reforms. Tell us a little bit about what your organization did and, 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 and in the efforts that you guys made. Yes, sir. Our, our, our former national commander, Dan Dillinger, was very instrumental along with the American Legion in demanding the secretary's uh, resignation, which happened. There's no other organization that I'm aware that literally demanded for his resignation. Yeah. And tonight what we're here for is talk about the reforms that are now being put into place. Uh, what are you hearing from, from veterans? Are there a lot of people who are interested in this who want to come out tonight? Our phones have rang off the wall. Uh, anything from good things to say, which I'm one that has good things to say about the VA, yeah. from pe people with problems, and I, I think we're going to have a packed house. All right, sounds good, Mitch. Thank you so much thank for you, your service, and thanks for helping us thank put you. on this event. All right, well, again, the town hall meeting starts in a little over an hour. It's going to get going at 6.30 tonight. Again, American Legion Hall number one, and we're just off of Peoria on 8th Street. There'll be representatives from the VA, from the VA hospital down in Muskogee. Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen is going to be here, as well as representatives from Congressman Jim Bridenstine's office, as well as from Senator Jim Inhofe's office to give people more information about the VA reform.
reform bill and address their concerns. And of course, all of this is going to be streamed live on our website, so you can check it out on KJRH.com. So if you can't be here, check out that. Also, coming up a little bit later, I'm going to show you some of the history behind this oldest operating American Legion post in the country. It's a great piece of history, and of course, it's right here in Tulsa. That coming up in just a little bit. All right, I want to bring